Hey guys, Samuel 7 here, and today we're going to be doing a little classic HRL recap. Um, now, this isn't going to be uh, like the HRL recap that you remember in the sense that we're going to be doing a lot of focus on things going forward in this one, so even though there is going to be a recap portion of it, and we are going to be uh, focusing on that for a time, uh, it's mostly going to be focused on stuff going forward. So, And I don't know if I'm going to do the recaps consistently for, for each week. Um, we'll see how that goes mostly just wanted to do this one to line things out for later on. So let's get into it though, get into the actual recap portion of it. Uh, first race was Barvo Speedway and just to enlighten everyone on this, basically the plan was I didn't expect that many people to show up to this, um, obviously because it was short notice and wasn't sure if I, if I wanted to do it. <clears throat> and I figured that if I, I figured that if I was going to do it, I needed to do it this week because if I waited, I probably wouldn't want to do it anymore. So. Uh, wanted to try to get this going as fast as possible. And uh, so we announced it day before and was still able to get uh, 11 people showing up, which for short notice was pretty cool, pretty nice. Um, yeah, really cool to see that. And uh, we we're able to start up the season here. One thing I do want to say, though, is that if you missed out on this first week, uh, don't worry too much about it. If you want to still race in the other weeks uh, and compete for points the way four, four mulligans for this season which will cover you for the motos for the first week. Uh, so if you want to still show up and you know you want to be competitive in those points, you can do that. You'll be fine, even though you missed the first week. The people that made the first week and make it through the whole season are going to have the advantage of those mulligans. Um, but again, I mean, if you're still if you still have a really good season, you're competitive. Um, you'll still be able to fight for it. Uh, the other thing is too, um, or real quick, uh, another thing going forward is that we could have another week in the season. Haven't decided on that yet. Maybe after the next races, and maybe the race after that. Not sure. We'll see. And if everyone's down to do an extra week, it is a possibility. Um, I think we do have two tracks lined up that could be added in to an extra week slot. So that's something that haven't really decided on yet. Um, but if everyone's cool with it and we have those tracks ready and, and stuff like that, then we should be able to uh, go ahead with an with an extra week for the season if everyone's down for it. So that's something that we'll we'll get to later. And again. Um, that would help out the people that, uh, that missed the first week as well. I mean, again, like I said, as long as they can make the other ones. And plus, I mean, if you just want to get back into uh, the race action and just, like, be able to race again, that is another reason why it would be nice to show up the other week. So, like, even if you, even though, like, right now you'll be fine to compete in points, even if you can't compete in points, um, you know, it would be nice to just get back on the track again. Let's get back uh, into the actual recap portion here. So, as far as the heats went for... For Barvo, uh, Detail ended up taking the win for the first heat, and the second heat actually went to Sector, actually drew, uh, drove a pretty clean heat. Um, one of the cleanest drives that he's had at Barvo was able to take the heat win there. Then we went to the first moto. Sector was not able to uh, replicate that performance, uh, had a pretty pretty bad first moto. Um, although Detail was able to was able to show up again, obviously did really well in his heat, um, was able to replicate that with the win again in the moto, uh, Luke coming in second and real deal in third with a pretty good drive up to the front. Running out the top five was Opix in fourth and then actually Armada in fifth. And again, just to point out uh, in these results here, um, it is not uh, because like these results are aligned by the by the overall points over here. Uh, when you're looking at the moto finishes, you have to you have to pay attention to the uh, the finishes here and see where they are. Um, just because Vulcan is in the fifth place spot here does not mean that he finished sixth in Moto One. Just pointing that out. You know, it's been a while since we've done this, and uh, if you haven't been looking at the docs in a while, just pay attention to the little things. It's actually, you know, this is actually pretty well organized. You should be able to get all the info you need from this. Um, I mean, if I wanted to go through it real quick though. Uh, uh, over here, obviously, you have the drivers, um, you have the overall points uh, over here as well. And uh, one thing that we're doing, this is actually good to bring this up now, again, explaining things and going back, uh, is that the overall points are added on the back end this season. So there are overall, uh, there are bonus points for winning a heat and for winning uh, an overall and for a uh, hard charger. So uh, you can get those bonus points but they don't add on to your overall finish. So like in the past, where we'd have some situations in some seasons where the overall winner of an event may be determined by like a heat win or something like that, um, that is not going to be the case this season. It's purely the overall event, purely, purely based, um, or for the overall win, purely based on the motos. 
not factored into the bonus points at all. The bonus points are factored in after that and added into the to the total points. So that's why over here you see the total points, detail getting those bonus points. Over here you see the moto points, which is just like the overall. And then obviously right here you get the bonus. Factor that in. Average start, average finish, uh, plus minus here. Plus minus is just like how many ga uh, positions you gained or lost based on your starting position. Um, you got those in each category here for the motos. For the heats, you got uh, which position you start in right here. I guess that wasn't like completely figured out yet. And then um, you have which heat that you started in on top of your starting position in those heats, finishing position for those heats as well. Um, and yeah, that pretty much goes across the whole thing here. So should be good there. Penalties if we need them. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it is for the dock. So I uh, went through Moto 1 top five, uh, top five for Moto 2. Detail had another really good drive to the front. Um, a little bit different, obviously I had to start or got to start in front for Moto 1. Um, had to start from the back, Moto 2 was able to pull it off, get back to the front and take the sweep. Luke able to get back in second again. Real deal, able to finish in third again. So pretty consistent in the top three there for the first race. Uh, and then fourth was actually Vulcan with a pretty good fourth place finish in Opix in that top five yet again with the fifth. And then if we go down here uh, to the to the overall points, we got these in order here. Detail, of course, going to take the overall win with the 84, Luke with 74, uh, Real Deal with 71, Opix 67, Vulcan 65. So that's your top five overall for the first week. Um, Armada did have that top five, but did not uh, the first race, but didn't have as strong of a showing. The second race going to finish in sixth with the 62, Solange just outside of that, 761, um, Roman eighth with 58, Camby ninth with 55, tied it up with... Uh, sector here, Camby gets the advantage, of course, for like the moto um, for the overall sector, though, with the same amount of points 55 and Jared with the 52. So that's how Barvo went. Let's go on to Yeti. So this was our second race of the evening. Uh, as far as the heats went, Detail and Luke, opposite heats, gonna take those heat wins there. Um, then we went into the motos, and if you look, a, not much position, uh, plus minus change, uh, position change. In this first moto, which is interesting because there was a lot of crazy battles. Like I thought, the motos from Yeti, um, yeah, had a lot of good battles. Um, and there's positions swapping constantly, like throughout the race. Even there's battles going all the way to the end. Yet, if you look at it, a lot of people with the zero on the plus minus, which is interesting, um, just because that's not you know it didn't it didn't reflect how the race went. There's a lot of position swapping during the race. It's just towards the end, I guess most drivers ended up where they started. So it's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, that's that, that doesn't happen very often. Doesn't happen very often. That that is interesting. Um, but as far as the finish went, detail keeping the streak going, taking the win. Luke second, uh, Slaunch third, and then rounding out the top five is going to be Real Deal and Roman fourth and fifth. So that was your top five there. Uh, Slaunch with the hard charger for that moto. Um, and then we go into the second moto, and the <laughs> the plus minus goes back to normal pretty much <laughs> in the second moto. That that looks a lot more, uh, that, that looks that looks correct. That looks right. Um, that's just insane how that first moto worked out. So detail, making the climb again, going to take the win in the second moto. Uh, Luke taking the second place again. And then rounding out the podium this time, uh, Vulcan, who had a very rough first moto, regained a lot of points here taking that podium finish in the second moto. Real Dylan Slaunch rounding out the top five. If we go to the overall finish, as you can see right here, um, Detail is going to take that uh, first place spot in the overall, of course. Luke second. Real Dill still getting that tiebreaker, the better moto two finish over Slaunch with the, with the fourth place over the fifth place. So getting that tiebreaker, that's another thing for this season because it's you know different in different seasons. This season, we're going by just the better moto two finish is how those tiebreakers are going to be uh, decided. So Real Deal takes that one with the with the overall at least launch though tying in points. Going to be in fourth. Roman going to get his first top five overall here uh, with the 64. And then Vulcan very close behind even after that rough first moto. That podium really helped him out a lot. Going to finish in sixth with 63. Uh, Camby seventh with 61. Opix uh, eighth with 59. Armada ninth with 57 and then jared in sector with the tie but jared getting the advantage on that second uh, moto finish going to be finishing there uh with the 52 for those guys so now we go over to the standings get through these quick uh as you can see in the lead no surprise there detail holding on to the lead uh, 168 points there luke in second with 149 so really strong start to the season for detail good good uh points gap um Real Dill in third with 139, not too far behind second. And then Slaunch also 10 points off of 
real deal. Uh, Slaunch being in fourth with 129, and this is where things get really close in the points. This mid pack is kind of crazy. Uh, Vulcan's right behind Slaunch with 128 in fifth place. Opix is right behind Vulcan with 126 in sixth place. Not too far behind again is Roman, seventh with 122. Not too far off of Roman is Armada with 119, and not too far off of Armada is Canby with 116. So, like, this whole group, uh, this whole mid-pack is super close. And then at the bottom, you got Sector and Jared with 107, 104, <laughs> a little bit farther off. Um, but, yeah, this whole, like, the front pack has gotten a bit of a gap, uh, but this mid-pack battle is crazy right now. Like, these guys are all super competitive right now. And, of course, if we potentially have some other people join in week two, could see it get even more uh, competitive for that mid-pack battle. You never know. So now that we've, now that we've been through that, um, just to show the schedule again, this is what the schedule looks like currently. And again, like I said, there is that potential uh, to add a, another weekend. Um, and we would have, there are like a couple tracks that we have in mind that could fill in those slots. So that's something that we'll decide when we get to it. Um, hopefully sooner rather than later. And if we, yeah, like I'm saying, if we, if we do have that extra weekend, we have the tracks ready for it. Um, so that is something that we could see happening, but this is what it is right now. Um, and because I wanted to talk about things going forward, the only other season that uh, I want to actually end up doing um, that I have planned right now is the go-kart season. Obviously, didn't get to finish the go-kart season. Sort of a passion project of mine. A lot of tracks in here that I want to, that I'd really like to see get raced. Um, and the go-kart season was off to a nice start. Those first races were pretty good. And um, yeah, I'd really like to see... I'd really like to see uh, go kart get going again, and uh, see how it could how it could end up. Um, so this is an <clears throat> another thing that we could see coming back here. So that's basically all that I've got for now. Um, you know, oval season two, current schedule, potentially another week added in here. Is not a leap year, is it? Oh, oh, nice. Anyways, um, <laughs> doesn't matter. Anyways, so we could see that extra week there in uh, in February with another week uh, uh, of racing for the oval season but then after that uh, go into the go-kart and then um, past go-kart don't really have much like set in stone there so I don't know any ideas or suggestions feel free to leave them um, but those are the two confirmed things want to finish out this oval series and want to get the go-kart season finished as well that's all I got for now but anyways hope you guys enjoyed uh, this HRL recap again don't know if these will be done consistently from now on we'll see uh, but had some things that needed to be like settled for the season in this one and uh, info that needed to be out there. So hopefully it was enough and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, blah, 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 blah.